Hey, what's going on everyone? Mad Dog here, back with another PSO2 video. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about the closed beta for Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis, which is going to only be in Japan. So, they're having their closed beta in between January and February of next year, which is pretty exciting. So, down below, we're going to be talking about doing two tests, with the first one dedicated to existing PSO2 players. So, theoretically, if you already play on JP right now, you can quite possibly get into the closed beta, though it'll all be in Japanese, so if you don't mind that, hey, you may as well hop in. And then they're looking for um, 50,000 applicants. So that's a lot of people for a closed beta, and they're actually open now. So if you have any inclination to try it at least, um, I may dip into it and see what it's like you know playing early will be really nice and those that you have be living in japan or to be eligible so if you've made an account in, in japan based on how you have your account i know for my account i have my address as sega's japanese headquarters so that may not fly so i might be out of luck on that one so I'll just watch people on Twitch play or stuff like that. More people who are just eligible to play that. So it says Fang Star Online 2 Ninja New Genesis is due next year for PC, uh, Xbox lines of consoles, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch via cloud. So if you're not aware, um, the Japanese server of PSO2 could be played on a cloud on Nintendo Switch. I tried to play it. does not work for me. So I don't know. Um, PlayStation 4, that might be Japan only, so as far as I know right now, well, per this video, um, PC, Xbox Series X, S, and Xbox One are the only consoles and North America server-based that you can play it on. Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 gamers, fortunately, not for you guys. Maybe in the future, I don't know. So down here, um, I will link this in the description down below if you want to go ahead and read this. So this is pretty much telling you how New Genesis is. Open world, super freedom type game that's just a revolution of PSO2. Um, how it's going to be intertwined with the original PSO. So you don't have to like make a new account or anything like that. Um, they said they're going to plan on doing two tests. With the first test, again, like I said, it's going to be just for the... Um, just for more of the dedicated PSO2 players. So it won't be anyone can jump in. It just, you gotta have a PSO2 account. I don't know how long of an account you gotta have, but I'm pretty sure there's some kind of way where you have to have like an account for longer than a month or et cetera. So it stops people from just making an account and then just going. And then the second phase is gonna be for everybody. So it's gonna go from more of a closed kind of deal to like more of an open kind of deal. But um, second time, recruit all people, all the participants who experienced the game. So it's unknown what's gonna be in the beta. For right now, it's just gonna be probably the little bit of the area that we saw when they announced it. I think it was during TGS, if I remember correctly. And they showed up the gameplay for the classes and stuff like that. So that's all I know that's gonna be in the closed beta. There might be more. I'm pretty sure there'll be like another video or something like that that they're gonna show. And we'll get some more information. So with that, out, with that out the way, let's get into tomorrow's new Urchin Quest. Per this video, as you can see, it's the 15th. So let's jump over to some next news, shall we? Okay, so if you've been dying for some episode six Urgent Quest, here you go. So the first one we're going to talk about today, like I said, is going to be releasing on the 16th per this video. So tomorrow will be Armada of Demise. And of course, they're going to call it something different. So this is actually a three tiered or three sector urgent quest. So the first part, as you can see, sec sector one is you're just going to assist the friendly warship. So you're going to be on the ship. You'll be fighting enemies. The first part is only 10 minutes long. And as you can see right here, it's only available in hard, super hard, extra hard, and ultra hard. So there is no normal, there's no very hard. So it skips from hard to super hard. It's just, which you be normal. So sector one, again, which will be assist a friendly warship. 
just going to be 10 minutes long. Uh, sector 2, right here. Attack the enemy warship and destroy the AIS disruptors. Again, 10 minutes for that. And then the final part is break through the enemy battleships and then you're going to fight a bigger boss. So that part right there is going to be 20 minutes. So sectors 1 and 2 can be repeated as many times as you want. So make sure you do that. You do get dropped at the end. So make sure you clear as many times as you can. Um, if you're playing on ultra hard, it's going to be a little difficult. So make sure you're geared properly. You're ready to go, ready to fight and all that stuff. So one and two, like I said, could be repeating as much time as you want. Three can only be completed once because you go through your AIS, you do that part, and then you're off to the big boss fight. So that's why you can't repeat that part one or two more times. Just one time and you're gone. So you can have your active drink, of course. They um, persist between quest entrances, so you don't have to um, pop them every single time. Um, I believe in JP is like that. Um, I know every time I've completed quest one and two repeatedly, I've had to take a drink, so I don't know about that. And if there's currently an active sector changes from one to two, if you're still in one, you could take two, you know, just like if you were fighting uh, Luther and part, you're still in the middle of part one, and then Luther rolls into it and you're still fighting it. That just like that, you can just switch it to the new one. Um, sector three has to be manually selected from the quest counter terminal, so you have to stop what you're doing and then you have to pick that part three. So there is variations you have to do. So the sector one, like I said, it's arc ship rescue for pattern A, and pattern B will be shipwreck relief. So they're changed, they're very random. Um, sector two, disruptor ship pursuit or photon or ship assault. And then sector three is battleship demolition or capital ship invasion. So each sector has two variants, only one will be randomly selected. And then each variation is counted towards some quest. And then there you go. So interception points, defeating enemies, turrets, pretty much destroying everything that's enemies, will give you um, interception points. And then you get a rare drop bonus in sector three, depending on that accumulation of points. Pretty much how like all the other quests go, like Persona, for example, when you beat Persona, the shipwide um, count at the top goes to 100%. Once you kill a Persona, you get those boosts during battle, you get a rare drop rate for like 30 minutes after the urgent quest is over. Just like that. And then um, here's the maximum amount of points you can get from each of the sectors and then their different patterns. And then this will just talk about uh, what, the, what you're going to do with each sector. So the arc ship rescue, you'll be dropped off. You pretty much just defeat enemies as you go. Um, destroying fighters will reward you interception points and then a pair of Dural Village, which of course the name is changed, will be at the very end. So here's the enemies, you fight Darkers, um, you fight Luminamax, and then of course here's the boss here, Shipwreck Relief, same thing, dropped off in a hangar. Uh, there are laser traps, so be careful, because they hurt like crazy. And then you reach the front of the ship, it'll be damaged by friendly, you jump over to the new ship, and then you fight over there. And then AIS Exodius will emerge from the damaged ship. And then a pair of draw bolts will appear along the end. Some small enemies. Watch the laser traps. So be careful because those laser traps, like I said, they'll kill you really quickly if you're not careful. And then section two will be the disruptor ship pursuit. So this is the one where you're going to be destroying the AIS disruptors at the end. So it's pretty similar to kind of the first phases. You're just going to mop up enemies, destroy the disruptors move on and again uh, sectors one and two oops sectors one and two can be repeated of course so here's the enemies there's newer enemies here of course there's darkers and there's a bigger boss and then photon or ship assault is kind of the same thing but you're gonna be assaulting the ship but still destroying the AIS disruptors at the end and then the same boss will be there you got your same um, darkers you got AIS exodia here and then finally will be the Sector 3, which is the Battleship Demolition. So you're going to bore your AIS, you're going to fly through space, defeating enemies and stuff, and then the enemy, the big boss uses the disruptor, then you got to fight him. So these are the enemies you have to fight, and then here's the bigger boss at the end. And then if you get the second one, which would be the Capital Ship Invasion, is similar, but you just fight these bigger bosses, and then you got these big bosses to contend with. 
And then here's an example of drops. Of course, they're going to be different on our servers. This stuff has been drastically different. Uh, all the 15 stars and um, weapon camos, parfaits and stuff like that. Um, I believe the dim series and everything will drop in ultra hard. So all this stuff will drop in ultra hard depending on what difficulty you do. And then all the S grade abilities and stuff. And that's about it for this. So hope you guys are ready for this urgent quest. Of course, they're going to just spam it at us relentlessly. Make sure you do them all. Weapons are great. Uh, drops are good. Action is fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys have any questions about episode six, leave them down in the comments below and I will help you as much as I can. So until then, um, real quick before I go, the videos maybe slow down just a bit. Like I said, as episode six is coming to a rapid close, there's not much more to talk about, but I will start making maybe some smaller guides and such in the future on doing certain things, money making, um, augmenting, stuff like that. Plus next year, I'm gonna have a little video for you guys. So keep an eye on that. Just look forward to that maybe New Year's Day, but we'll see. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys hated it, give me a thumbs down and leave some comments down below. Until next time guys, peace.